Working with children with life-limiting illness is difficult because it's not natural. We always say it's not natural for children to die before us, before their parents. So the fact is that um, it's difficult to accept and parents grieve a lot more. Hi, I'm Nurse Serene. I'm 44 years old this year and I've been working with uh, HCA Hospice Care for six and a half years. So palliative nurse is when the patients refer to us, they may be still seeking active treatment and uh, palliative nurse also look very holistically, person-centred care. So we don't just look at symptoms as physical, but we look at social, emotional, spiritual and even uh, financially or practical uh, issues that they are facing. Whereas for hospice care, it's mainly when the patient is diagnosed with a prognosis of uh, one year or less and their goal may change to uh, more comfort care, may be in the hospital or at home. If let's say I'm diagnosed with a life limiting illness or, or terminal illness, I may be very uncertain what's going to happen. A lot of fears, a lot of unknown. So having someone with the experience like a palliative nurse to guide them like what's going to happen, will I suffer in the end, will I die in pain? Yeah, so if there's someone who can come alongside, hold your hand, listen to your fears and give the assurance and encouragement that it doesn't have to be that painful or suffering, I think it will really help. So the patient that we'll be visiting today is uh, Yang. He has got Duchenne muscular dystrophy. He was diagnosed when he was in primary school. Yeah, so now he is going to be 20 years old. Yeah, he's a young adult. Muscular dystrophy is a condition that is genetic. So for we young, because he's a young adult, so when I visit him, he's very cool and chill, and you know, very word, man of few words. So when you ask him, you just say yes or no, or mm, don't know. So it was a little bit difficult initially, like, because I cannot be kiddish with him, you know, like young children, you know. So I need to balance between being cool so and chill, and then being like the nurse. Yeah, so it took quite a while for him to maybe know me a little bit more. So initially, it's all very one-sided. After that, progress to he will also contribute like what he likes and then it's more a two-way and then also another part is caring for the parents like whether parents getting enough rest whether they need volunteers to help them so that they can take a few hours of rest or sleep Hi, I'm Madam Ong I'm 55 years old I'm a mother of 我们知道伟阳有这个病是在他小一的时候 每天都陪他讲话到半夜，连就对着窗口一直讲，为什么是我孩子？教育，我要安慰他，我也不可以讲什么，我是跟他讲，你的弟弟是有这种病，不过他与我们疼他，我跟他讲，你要做什么，你
when you stare at me for too long, the, the person might actually feel the presence of you staring at me, which is a bit like, like no, not really a pleasant feeling to have. Uh. For me, I feel like being positive is better than trying to make something feel bad about yourself. My mindset is like, why, why think of something that makes you sad? Because it's like, it doesn't benefit you or anything. He is very pleasant, very friendly. Yeah, so he likes cosplay. So we are going to do a cosplay event. We are helping him to plan an event for in December for his birthday. I like to just play video games. Just watch videos on YouTube or like watching anime and stuff like that. Is Nasserine like a friend to you? Like will you consider her like a friend? Mm, yeah. Someone that can like easily share things to her and talk to her, yeah. And like encourage me to do things that I'm like, not that comfortable anymore. The first time you did the, the cosplay thing, yeah, they kinda like encourage me to try her. Selina, Lin Hui ya. 我觉得他们的协会的人都很有爱心辛苦的时候，有人来分担，这个是最重要的。Then mm. used to be a very taboo topic, yeah. But part of our job, we see death so often, and we know that death happens to everybody, even for babies, yeah. So it's not no longer when you are old. That is the fact, right? That we are in this palliative care, that they will eventually. Um, on. I always tell people it's okay to cry, it's okay to tear with them because we have feelings, we have our relationship with our patient, we have relationship with the family. Knowing that you play a part in their life when they are still alive, I think that helps us to cope with the feeling of loss. Life. Um, these children actually uh, taught me a lot about being hopeful. Even you are diagnosed with a life-limiting illness, you can still hope. Yeah, even though the hope may not be for cure, but the hope can be living life to the fullest. Don't be afraid to do things that you want to do or hope to do. And really is to be brave. Yes, be brave and courageous. Yeah.